So Preeti Patel has been exposed and she's found that she has broken the rules when it comes to behavior rules and inject it. That's what I can say guys, inject it. London Lockdown Madness season two, episode 12 now, Preeti Patel has been exposed. It's over. Sayonara, guys. Goodbye. Hey, guys, it's Marab. I don't know why I'm saying goodbye, but I'm saying hello. Hey, guys, it's Marab. Hopefully, you guys are doing well today. Back in again with another video. I'm not involved. I'm only here to address it daily and consistent. Get the merch it's in the bio, it's attached. Let's get into this video. Subscribe to the channel daily and consistent. Subscribe, inject it. Do you understand? I'm in this mood now because this has been a long time coming. Do you understand? This has been a long time coming. It has seen that a draft report concluded in the summer that Home Secretary Preeti Patel had broken rules on minister behaviours sources familiar with the, con with the content say. The cabinet office began an inquiry into her, into her conduct after Sir Philip Rotnam, the most senior Home Office official, resigned in February. Sir Philip, who was suing for constructive dismissal, alleged staff felt that Miss Patel had created fear. Well, I mean, that is, isn't really surprising to me. Like, have you guys seen her face? Um, the reports carried out by the government's independent advisor on standards, Sir Alex Allen, has not been published. But one source said it concluded that the Home Secretary had not met the requirements of the Ministerial Code to treat civil servants with consideration and respect. They added that the investigation had found evidence of bullying, even if it had not been intentional. Another source who saw the report called it the unambiguous in stating that Preeti Patel broke the Ministerial Code and that the Prime Minister buried it. Not buried it. A spokesperson for the Home Secretary said that she had always denied the allegations and that there had never been any form of formal complaints against her, of course. So what is the Ministerial Code? It's a government document setting out expected standards of behaviour in office, which include consideration and respect for civil servants and other colleagues. The code says harassing, bullying or other inappropriate or discriminating behaviour will not be tolerated. It adds that the ministers are personally responsible for how they act and that they can stay in office for so long as they retain the confidence of the Prime Minister. The code is not legally binding, but according to the Institute for Government think tank, there is growing pressure for it to become so. A different government source has suggested the report also paints an unflattering picture of how Ms Patel was sometimes treated. The report is understood to have looked at Ms. Patel's behaviour at three different government departments, the Home Office, Work Pensions and International Development. So she's basically been exposed to being a bully and she could be fired. However, reports that are coming out now, uh, it seems that um, Boris Johnson is backing Priti Patel. I wouldn't be surprised over this. The head of the Civil Servants Union has accused Boris Johnson of a failure of political leadership and moral authority. The guy is literally a walking failure over the bullying scandals and, you know, especially involving Preeti. David Penman, General Secretary of the FDA, which represents professionals and managers in civil service, called for a new independent process for handling allegations of bullying and harassment by ministers because it seems there's, there's favoritism going on here and that Preeti Patel actually won't end up losing her job. But she has been exposed as being a stupid ass bully. She's a clown. She's one of those racist, racist, one of those um, people of colour. Um, gatekeepers, let's just say, where they're suddenly, they're, because we've got a person of colour as the forefront, everything seems to be okay. And suddenly, you are not racist because you have somebody who's a person of colour doing X, Y, Z and so forth. This person is disgustingly racist and clearly has some kind of problem and it should be ashamed of herself when it comes to a lineage and where she comes from. However, having said that, I believe her family will have always been supporters of what she's been doing anyway. So, I, I don't even know, to be honest with you. The way this girl is acting, her parents wouldn't even be allowed in this country. So, it's just... She's a walking hypocrite, a clown, a fool, and this was a long time coming. What happens in the dark will always come to the light, and this light is not dim, it is on very, very bright. Okay, poem, um, but I just feel like it seems like she's gonna keep her job because Boris Johnson is backing her. This isn't really a surprise. There obviously is going to be favoritism amongst them all, but at the same time, it's just extremely sad. Let me know your thoughts are, guys. What are your thoughts when it comes to all of this? London Lockdown Madness, season two, episode 12. Pretty Patel is being exposed. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Click that button, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.